Hello again, this is Kat Sneevens with Ashes of Creation, last week's news today. Make sure to keep watching till the end as we have heard about an Alpha 2 key giveaway. So for starters, on August 9th, the cosmetic skins have changed to the tip of the spear set. The lore for these cosmetics will be linked below. If you'd like a more detailed explanation of how pre-order packs work, remember to check out Jalan's video linked above and below the video. I'd also be happy to answer any questions you have in the comments. Also, to clear up any confusion about how the costumes work, Aknar said on Discord, Costumes are a single-piece costume that is applied to your overall armor appearance. If that makes sense, you cannot combine other cosmetic items to the appearance, which includes the accessory items. And Vaknar had some clarification on the Fields Marshal Command accessory cosmetic skin. This cosmetic item, when applied, will affect both the shoulder and back slots. So that could make in-game items more valuable for transmog as the store-bought costumes is just a full outfit, other than the individual items like the aforementioned cloak. Now something quick on August 10th in response to a thread on Nakua art style. Vaknar said, Received a lot of good feedback after we showed you the 3D models for the Nikua. I unfortunately can't confirm at the moment, but you may see some new Nikua related art soon. Hey, maybe we'll get it in this month's livestream. Also, a glorious community member was asking if Steven Sharif, the creative director, would do another Ask Me Anything. And Steven replied to let us know that this will be happening in the next few months. A great reason to hit that subscribe button. We'll let you know when the Ask Me Anything is announced. We got a neat interactive tweet asking whether you would gank the gatherer or not. And since y'all chose to gank, you got ambushed by an archer. Which is nice to see a new weapon in action and perhaps a clue to things coming up in the upcoming livestream. Also on the 11th was the community hours discussion on Discord. I hope everyone had a good time and all that amazing feedback will be going to the design team. And now Fan Art Friday, which we always love to see, this horrifying deep sea creature was drawn by the Cat's Lock, nice name, and nice art! I think a deadly swarm of tiny fish would be quite frightening as well. Hopefully they would attack someone else's boat though and not mine. I hate the ocean. Now for those who didn't know, Steven has been playing some Fortnite with Bustin. After a great game winning kill, Bustin won some Ashes of Creation Alpha 2 access skis to give away. You can enter via the description below and if you haven't seen any of the matches, definitely go check them out. They're a lot of fun. If you want to keep up with future giveaways and news, subscribe to us. We do our best to bring the news to you so you don't miss out. Good luck everyone. To finish off this week we have a few tweets to show you starting with one from Steven about Lazy Peon's new video which was very good and will be linked above and below. There's a lot of great information in the video especially if you haven't been keeping up on everything Ashes. It's been quite a journey so far and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us. The rest of the tweets are all reminders of things that we have seen before but still important nonetheless. And thank goodness for this nugget of info. To set expectations, currently the team's full focus is on creating the MMORPG Ashes of Creation. We haven't announced any additional plans to bring back Apocalypse for testing, beyond relieved to hear that. If they want to put out a testing environment, they can use a small portion of the MMO. Also, Ranger in September. Just don't tell anyone, will ya? And I'd like to leave you today with how Ridley begs for treats. I hope to see you all really soon. Sneevens out. You want a treat? You want a treat, Ridley? You do? Uh, I know it. <laughs>